Okay, so I made a video the other day. It was about watchers and principalities and fallen angels. So this is kind of a follow-up to it. I got ChatGPT to write the script for me. Um, it has taken several attempts because it kept doing things I didn't want it to do, but I'm going to read this one out anyway. So it's called The Watchers of Enoch, Heavenly Descent and Earthly Corruption. In the ancient text of the Book of Enoch, we uncover a remarkable account of fallen angels known as the Watchers. These celestial beings created to serve the divine descended from heavens, from the heavens to the earthly realm, drawn by the allure of mortal women. However, their intentions were far, intentions were far from benevolent, as their actions would lead to the great corruption and divine judgment, which is the flood of Noah, if you don't know. According to the book of Enoch, these fallen angels abandoned their heavenly abode, defied defying the divine order. They descended upon Mount Hermon, located in the vicinity of present-day Lebanon and Syria. As they set foot upon the earth, their ethereal nature took on physical form, blending with the mortal realm. The Watchers, led by their chief, Azazel, sought to disrupt the natural order established by the Creator, by God, in other words. They lusted after human women and chose them as their brides, breaking the boundaries between heavenly and earthly realms. These fallen angels sought to intermingle with humanity, corrupting the very fabric of creation. Their unholy union with mortal women resulted in the birth of a hybrid, hybrid race known as the Nephilim. These giants, offspring of the fallen angels and humans, women possessed extraordinary physical strength and prowess instilling fear and unease among ordinary mortals their presence defied the natural order and caused immense suffering and turmoil the actions of the watchers and the existence of the nephilim provoked a divine wrath the book of enoch describes the outcry that reached the heavens prompting god to pass judgment upon the fallen angels and their hybrid progeny the Creator condemned the Watchers to eternal imprisonment, casting them into the depths of Tartarus, a place of darkness and torment. The tale of the Watchers serves as a solemn reminder of the consequences of rebellion and the corrupting influence of evil forces. It emphasises the inherent opposition of fallen angels to humanity as they sought to exploit and subjugate mortals for their own selfish desires. The narrative underscores the inherent evil that emanates from these celestial beings as they defied the divine order and manipulated humanity for their own wicked purposes. While the story of the Watchers offers a cautionary tale of the fallen angels' opposition to humanity, it also serves as a testament to the divine justice and the ultimate triumph of righteousness. It reminds us of the eternal struggle between good and evil, the consequences of transgressing divine boundaries and enduring power of faith and righteousness in the face of adversity. So, <coughs> that's the script that it wrote for me. I will say one or two things before I go. Um, from what I understand it, uh, demonic spirits are the spirits of the Nephilim that when they died they were never supposed to exist so they don't actually have anywhere to go so they're forced to wander the earth so that's that's what you know demons came from or some of them there are other types apparently as well but I'm not going into that at the moment uh, like elementals for instance for instance that come from like uh, traumatic events like if there's a massacre apparently you uh, that creates these things somehow from the blood. Anyway, uh, the other thing I was going to say is, um, well, I've forgotten what the other thing is, sorry. If I remember, I'll put it on the next video, but I'll leave it there. Um, so that's the Nephilim. Oh, yeah, I remembered. Um, people that get abducted by aliens, they say that the um, they'll take, like, they'll make a woman pregnant, they'll take one of the aliens... DNA and put it in a woman and it you know you know how, how babies are made obviously uh, but they'll make like hybrids human alien hybrids well that not that like very similar to what the Nephilim were there's these things that come out of the sky and they come down and they impregnate women it's more or less the same thing it's just they're calling themselves something else 
But anyway, let me know what you think in the comments section. Uh, I'm going to leave it there because I don't have anything, I don't have anything else to say at the moment. It was just a quick video I wanted to make. Well, it should have been a quick video, except it took me an hour to actually get the script written because ChatGPT just was not playing ball with me this time for some reason, and I don't know why. But anyway, tell me what you think in the comments section, and if you think it deserves a thumbs up, then give it a thumbs up. But other than that, thanks for watching, and bye for now. Bye.